there's a lot of family, there's a lot of heritage that makes the businesses in Waterton work together. Oh yeah. You started yourself when you were quite young here though. I started here 16. I wasn't even allowed in my own bar. <laughs> I wasn't old enough. <laughs> yeah. You got quite a, a disproportionate number of food businesses in town. Is that intentional? Is it because Waterton is a, is a foodie place? It seems that way because there's not that many hotels, but there's a lot of campsites and we do a lot of day traffic. So the restaurants are actually quite busy. You know, you could eat here every day for a week at a different restaurant. It's all different no matter where you go. Everyone tries to carve out sort of a niche market. Like this place, we ended up doing sort of an elevated gourmet pub food. The truffle mac and cheese is amazing here. We do a nice southern fried chicken sandwich here. This park was, was needing something like this. This floor is the original dance hall floor. Brand new bar. This is a barn that we took apart outside the park. This was uh, out of BC, got it made in Pincher Creek. Why? Awesome. Why do you put so much effort into it? I want to keep that piece of Southern Alberta. I want to make sure it held its old world charm. I agree with you 100%, man. Thanks for having us here. Anytime.